Have you ever wanted to change the background music that plays behind Minecraft when you're playing the game? Maybe you like that music, I don't know. Sometimes it's kind of quiet and mysterious sounding, but you may want something a bit more exciting, a bit more upbeat, and you can do that. Hi, George here, and I'll be showing you the secret hack to come in and change that background music to whatever music you want. We'll be making a custom resource pack to do this, and let's switch over to my desktop, and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, here we are on my desktop. And there's a few things you need to start. The first thing is you need a place to build the resource pack in. I made a new folder on my C drive and I called it Bedrock Packs. Inside here, we'll need a few things. You of course need your new music. I have one song here I'll be using. You need to have some folders. You need to have a list of the music in the game. That's really important. And if you want to, you can have a custom pack icon. Now I'll show you where you can get the dirt block icon if you want. That's all you actually need to have, but it's kind of nice to make your own. This is just a square image. It's 128 by 128 and it's a PNG file. That's all that is. Okay, let's open up this music list first. Here we go. Let me show you where you can download this. I'll bring up my website and it's right here. It's HTG George. I'll put a link for this site in the description so you can click on that and get right to this page. Over here it says Minecraft Downloads. Click on that. And in here, left hand side, you want the one that says music list 1.21 right there. It's a rich text file. Almost any editor can open that thing up. Let's go and see what's inside of this. And this right here. Now the very top up here, this little line right there, you can ignore that. This is for Java. So it's not for Bedrock. I'll just cross that out. So ignore that bit. Everything else though is the same. If you're playing in creative up here and it's playing these songs and it's quite a few as you can see in here, it has the old ones up here. These used to be called creative one through creative six. They now have the actual names in here plus all of these songs from the regular game. So it's a lot of stuff in creative nowadays. And these go into these folders, sounds, music, game, and creative. Most of the songs are inside of sounds, music, and game. Let's just scroll down a little bit and see what we have. Here's all your basic songs in here for the game right there. There's all the songs that are in the menu nowadays. Some biomes have their own songs and some of them just play different sets of songs. Like here's the Badlands set right there. There's a jungle set. We'll be doing this set right down here in the Cherry Grove. There's only seven songs here, which makes it pretty easy. And here we have the sounds, music, and game folders. Let's go ahead and get that set up. I'll put this right over here so you can see that. So you need a sounds folder. So inside of this, we need a music folder. Notice that these are all lowercase, no capital letters. And then a new folder here and game. And then our new songs goes inside of here, right inside this area right there. Okay, let's back out to our working folder. We'll come back to this a little later. We now need to convert this over to a .ogg file or .og file. Now, if you're not seeing the .mp3 down here, you have to see that, very important. Go over to View, come down to Show, and right here, File Name Extensions, make sure that that's checked. So if you're just seeing this with nothing behind it, then you have to go ahead and show those File Name Extensions. I'm in Windows 11 right now, but if you're in Windows 10, go up to the View tab at the top, and put a check mark next to file name extensions. Same thing. Now there are two ways to convert this. One is using an app on your computer. I happen to like using Audacity. It's my favorite sound editor. Or you can do this online. Let me show you the online location first, but I'll be doing this in Audacity. I'll bring up that website. I've tried a lot of different websites and this is the only one that works consistently for me. It's called Convertio. It's convertio.co. It's not a .com, it's a .co. You just choose your file and then convert to the OGG file format. It's pretty easy to do, but I prefer doing this in Audacity. Let me bring that up and it's right here. Now an easy way to get your song in here is just to take it and drag it over. Just get this out of the way. There we go. And I'll drag it in like that. Just drag and drop. There's a song. Let's go ahead and convert this. Go up to file, come down to export audio. There's your file name at the top. I'll leave that alone for right now. Here's your folder. Make sure you're in the right folder. Let's see we're back here at the working folder. Go into sounds into music, into game, and it goes right in there. Choose save, that gets that set up. It has to be an OGG Vorbis files format, OGG Vorbis files. It can stay stereo, that's okay. And then change your sample rate here to 48,000 Hertz. That's what everything else is in the game, so it's all nice and consistent. Then just choose export. Does it, that's done. Get that out of the way. And let's go in and check that. So inside of here, music and game. There we go, there's our converted file. Okay, let's bring back up that list of music, and that's right there. So we need one song for each of these songs. And I'll be using the same song 
So I'll just make copies of this. Now there are seven of these songs over here. So let's make seven copies of this. Right click, I'll copy that. And then right click and paste, that's one. Paste is two, that's three. There's four, there's five, six, and seven. Okay, go over here to the list. Grab the first name, right click, copy. Come back over here. Click into the name once, click a second time. Right click and paste. Do the same thing for the rest of these. Let's grab the second one here, right click, copy. Back over here, click in the name once, click a second time, and paste. The reason I'm clicking two times like that kind of slow is that way it changes the name. If you click too fast, it just plays the song. We don't want to have that right now. But here we'll grab this one, right click and copy. Put that in here, number three, right click and paste. There we go. Let's get the next one, right click, copy. This is number four right here, right click and paste. Get left to bloom, that's number five right in here. Right click and paste. Minecraft is number six, copy. That goes right over here. Right click and paste. And then final one, Sweden. Right click, copy. Right here, click once, click a second time. Right click and paste. There you go, there's our seven songs. Now these will also play someplace else in the game, so this is not going to be just the Cherry Blossom. It's anywhere where these are showing in the game, it'll play there as well. If you want to change everything in the game, then you have to change all the songs that are in the game. Now, most of these are duplicates. Some of them, though, are specifics, like some stuff in the nether in here is different, like Ballad of the Cats, Dead Voxel. These are just inside of the nether, but have to go through and make sure you get all the names, and then everything will be changed. There's a lot of files to do that. Okay, let's get this out of the way. We'll save that. Back up here to the working folder. So we have our sounds. We have our pack icon. We now need to get the manifest.json file in here, and that tells Minecraft what to run, so that makes the pack work. And we'll download that from online. Let me bring that website up. And it's right here. I'll put this link in the description so you can click right to this page. Now, ignore anything that says preview. Just scroll down. But the one that says latest, right there, that's what you want. Right now, that is 121.20.3. That's the latest. Come to here and download the source code that says zip. So click on that. Download that back into your same working folder. Choose save. Okay, that's done. Now right click on this and open in a new window. It should be on top, there we go. Now double click into here, come down to resource pack, click into there, and come down here, you want this manifest.json file right there, just drag it over here and drop, there it is. That's what we want. If you want the dirt block pack icon, that's that one right there, that's where that is. Okay, we're done with that. Now I like to edit these things in Notepad++, it's a free download, let's open this up. Here we go. Just a couple of things to do in here. We have the description, which is the name of the pack. Let's change that. And I'll call it Cherry Blossom Music. Let's just select that. Right click and copy. I'll put it right here where it says Vanilla Resource Pack. Right click and paste. And also right down here. Do the same thing right here. Right click and paste. Okay. Then we have these two UUID codes. One up here and one down here. These are special codes. And I have a website to get these. Let's go ahead, we'll find that. And it's right here, the online UUID generator. Again, I'll put this link in the description so you can get right to this page. Click on refresh and then copy, bring back up the manifest. And I'll put that right on top of this one. Make sure you're staying inside of those quotes, right click and paste. Let's go back over here, refresh again and copy. So I have a new one, back to the manifest and then paste that in right down here. Again, staying inside those quotes and paste. There we go. These are basically like license plates on a car. Every car has to have different license plates. Every pack has to have different UUID codes. There are two in here, but that's really what it is. Okay, that's done. Make sure we save that. There we go. And now we're actually ready to make this into a resource pack. Okay, Want the sounds folder, hold your control key down, get that pack icon and the manifest. So those three things, right click, compress to zip file has to be a zip. It can't be a RAR file, dot .rar. It can't be 7z. It has to be zip. There we go. Let's give it a name. I'll call it Cherry Blossom Music again. Now click in the name once. Click into the name a second time. Come back here after zip. Backspace on that and then type in MC pack. There we go. Click outside. Choose yes. And you should see the icon change. If you don't, hit the F5 key or go into a folder and come back out again. That'll refresh the page and you should see that. We can now double click on this to load this into the game. So I'll double click, there's the game, and it's loading up. There's import started, and successfully imported. And then come down to settings, 
In here, scroll down, come down to Global Resources, and My Packs, and there it is at the top. Click on Activate. Activated, that's good. Let's double check. There it is. Okay, it's back out of here, and we can go ahead and play the game. And there we go, there's a new background music. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on subscribe. If you don't click subscribe, you may miss videos in the future. It's easy to lose YouTube channels. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't lose this channel. And I'll see you next time.